Good evening, everyone. Tspeaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side by the next element feature Digibyte OG. <clears throat> so, guys, I'm just going to do an XRP update. This goes from all, so whatever you see with XRP, this is what you're going to be looking at. Okay, so, like I said earlier, I'm looking for with XRP. We're going to come around, and I'm looking like this is the bear flag I was talking about. I'm looking to see what happens when we back test this 92 cents. This side had no structure, so this side had to come down like this. That's how I knew there was going to be a bear foot. But what do we do when we get here? There's no volume. Volume's not picking up. When I say no volume, I don't mean there's actively zero volume coming in. I mean the volume's going down as we go up. 6.35 million at the bottom. By the time we get to the top, 5.7. If we're in a bullish scenario, this should have positive volume. And as we go down levels, that's where we have to go to find volume. And there's not even that much more. It's, it's I'm telling you guys, we're running out of buys, we're running out of sells. This only leads one way, and you start, you just seen it. We got up to 106, 107, 106. And then this happened. We just don't have the volume. So yeah, we could get another bounce. But this is this whole run up is dead man's bounce, what I was calling it. We're at eleven fifty two. Something tells me Bitcoin's gonna drop under thirty eight thousand, possibly in the next eight minutes. I mean, it's building a terrible structure, guys. It double top too at the top. So, is it any wonder that it built this double top at this exact time, right when it's about to be twelve o'clock? Since I can't seem to figure out what time the actual daily is, because I'm a moron. So I went with the. I'll call it the unilateral time, where it's twelve hour delay. Real time. I think it's the UTC or whatever. But if you guys were watching before uh, all this went down, you could have easily sold out of your positions. I'm day trading like a motherfucker, even though I say I'm not. Because I'm trying to last ditch effort to try to get as much of this shit as I can and that goes for everything it was all a fire sale I was up fucking $1100 so I know what's going on I can see the pattern so right now I sold XRP around a dollar six because I'm trying to get as many as possible so the ones on my trust wallet stay and for you guys ask me how to send stuff back and forth from the wallet I'm the worst person in the world to ask so that I can't answer I barely even got my shit back and forth I've never sent anything to uphold besides with my credit card, so. And that's a pain in the ass because I have international, uh, they'll reject it and then I gotta fucking tell them it's me, it's horseshit. Because there's digital fucking, um, authentication, which is good for us because no one's gonna steal our shit, but it's bad for us because it's hard to put money on without them thinking you're trying to steal your own fucking money. But this is uh this is exactly what we were saying. Now the question is is what are we gonna do? I came out at this time for a reason because I knew at twelve o'clock it'd be interesting. I just put a clip on there so that you guys could actually see. So after you watch this one, go back and watch that clip from the call that I made just before the breakdown. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so I just need to close this. So if you guys have trading me and you accidentally uh, close something out, just uh, as long as you didn't take the star off, you just close it out and open it back up and see how my volume's back. But now if you fuck up and you uh you go in there and unstar the volume, well then you gotta start back and then close out the app again, because likely it's gonna take a refresh. 
Ooh, somebody got their coin, or somebody's coin is shipped, or shipping out. Let's see who the lucky person is. Uh, I don't know. The f oh, Griff. Griff, you shipped out today, it said. Awesome. I don't know when it's going to be there. It says arriving by June 7th, but it shipped out today, Griff, so you are in luck, my man. Hell yeah, I'm always happy to see that. Got another two sent out tonight, too. So, what do I do while I'm happy? Well, I sold my Litecoin at 180 fucking five or whatever, like I told you guys. And I made $180 on my Litecoin. So, that's the community funds money. I've done very well for the community with that fund money. And I just sent out two more coins because I was up. So, now we have $826 left in the community fund. We started today at, like, 700 and something dollars after I sent all the shit out, but I made $168 on Litecoin or $180 there on Litecoin. And then uh, maybe a little bit more, but I've sent out like six coins today, which is fucking great. A lot of people are like, why do you fucking send out coins? Because I want to. What do you care? You ever here trying to brighten people's days up, do something they actually like? Try it. Stop trying to ask stupid questions. There's no stupid questions except questions that... When somebody's doing something good and kind and from the heart, don't ask why. Take it as a lesson and pay it forward yourself and figure out your own way of generosity and giving back. So what I say, ask the right questions. A lot of times people ask the wrong question. They ask the stupid question. Why do you do it? Or why would you do it? What makes you thrive to give back is what you should ask. Why do I care enough? Because money doesn't run me. I couldn't give two shits about the dollar. But what I do give two shits about is my fellow human being. And I always wanted to be in a position where I knew a single mom or a fucking dad down on his luck or just somebody who's fucking lost it all and just be like, oh, and just get to know them. And then all of a sudden be like, oh, here's 10 grand. But unfortunately in my life, I've never been in that position where I could give 10 fucking grand, but I do my small part. You guys are helping me do it more often. Your generosity definitely helps me show that part for the community. I was trying to kill the 12 o'clock. Let's see where Bitcoin's at. 38334. <sighs> it looks like it's on a double top. So I'm going to let you guys watch this update. But this stuff does, I mean... We're bouncing between now. Now we're using this resistance as support, like I said, or uh, support as resistance, like I was saying. Now we're all coiled up up here. The volume's fluttering, though. This should, this will be interesting. We had to come back down here to find more volume, and we found about two hundred thousand on average more. So, just pay attention, guys, because I, I expect it to go down to 92 cents and figure out what it's going to do from there because it's already done all of this. I figure it to finish out the pattern where it got that spike at 92. Remember, that's not where the pattern started. Like, we came up before that. So, when people are like, oh, well, that's why I said it. It's not, at first, I said 89, but I don't think that's where it would go because it's going to go to 92 and use that as support. So if you want to enter a position, I would like at a dollar six. I said you're in no man's land. I think ninety two cents. If you haven't entered an XRP position, would be the good place to start. And then see if it goes to eighty eight. And then if it can't hold eighty eight, guys, we end up going back to like seventy eight. Then if it can't hold seventy eight, we go back to sixty five. And if it can't hold sixty five, that's when we have some problems. Well, good for us, bad for other people that don't know what's going on. But there's also the scenario we can kick up. I just try to keep you informed. 
There's also a scenario tonight where Bitcoin dumps and bounces down to 32,000 one more time and then takes off. Improves some strength by hitting that bottom again around 32,000 for like a third time, but then bouncing off of it way up. It's also a scenario. So when you guys ask me stuff, I don't know until I can see the next formation. I see them far played out, but there's so much manipulation. I can't just be like, oh, this is what's going to happen. That's why I came on earlier and said, you know what? I, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep half my portfolio out. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. This is about, the, I, I feel like this is going to happen. And then some stuff popped 20, 25%. And it was definitely better because I threw that last $800 onto all the stuff. But then I came on and I was like, oh, looks like, uh. Looks like we're going to dump. And then like 45 minutes later, I came out and said, nope, I'm wrong. I'm like, I discovered something even farther in the pattern that was a red flag. And then what happened like 15 minutes after that video, we did all this shit and popped to the top. Then I came on and told you we're coming down. So that's all you guys need to keep me here. There's nobody else like me on YouTube. And it's just that simple. What's this? Oh, XRP Sniper, your, uh, yours says it shipped out May 17th, Tuesday, fuck's that? Yeah, that wasn't too bad, Twelve ninety nine, and then with the shipping, $23 for yours, so that was not bad. So, Ahmed, I hope, uh, that gets you in good time. Love seeing that shit, that makes me happy. So yeah, just watch. Should be in the acquiring phase. Acquire, 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 acquire. If you can see things on the charts where you can see dumps coming, well, you know, you got to know what you're doing, though. So, T Speaker 222 XRP, future millionaire with Stein Benedict, something future did you at OG? I got to go, guys. My son needs me. He's, he woke up just now. Stay blessed.